Why should we trust you? Um, you shouldn't. No one person should be trusted here. The board can fire me. I think that's important. Sam Altman, the co-founder of OpenAI, being forced out by the board. This is, of course, a company at the center of the artificial intelligence boom. Essentially a, a coup of sorts, a huge backlash, and now we're talking about a possible return. Get ready to uncover the dark secrets of AI as we delve into the story of an advanced system that could solve math problems impossible for humans. But with great power comes great controversy. Join us as we uncover the truth behind the mysterious AI project condemned Q-Star and turmoil it caused for the co-founder and CEO of OpenAI, Sam Altman. OpenAI was founded in 2015 by a group of prominent tech entrepreneurs and researchers including Elon Musk, Peter Thiel, Reid Hoffman and Sam Altman. The founding vision of OpenAI was to create artificial general intelligence, a system that can perform a wide variety of tasks at human or above human levels of intelligence and to ensure that it is aligned with human values and can be used for good. The founding mission of OpenAI was to ensure that AGI is developed in a way that is transparent, safe and accessible to everyone and to prevent the emergence of a single entity or group that could monopolize or misuse AGI. To achieve this vision and mission, OpenAI adopted a non-profit structure and pledged to operate in the public interest without any financial or political agenda. OpenAI is also committed to publishing its research sharing its code and collaborating with other researchers and organizations. OpenAI attracted some of the best talents in the field of AI as well as generous funding from its founders and other donors. In 2019, OpenAI received a $1 billion investment from Microsoft, which also became its exclusive cloud provider and partner. Sam Altman was one of the co-founders of OpenAI and served as its president until 2019 when he became the CEO. Altman was a prominent figure in the tech industry, having previously being the president of Vi Combinator, the influential startup accelerator that backed companies such as Airbnb, Dropbox, and Stripe. Artman was known for his ambitious and visionary ideas such as creating a universal basic income, colonizing Mars, and building a brain-computer interface. Altman was also a vocal advocate for the potential and the risks of AI and was one of the driving forces behind the creation of OpenAI. As the CEO of OpenAI, Altman oversaw some of the most impressive and controversial achievements of the organization, such as GPT-3, the largest and most powerful language model ever created, and DLE, a system that can generate realistic images from text descriptions. Altman also led the transition of OpenAI from a non-profit to a hybrid structure, aware a for-profit entity, OpenAI LP, was created to attract more funding and talent while still being governed by the non-profit parent, OpenAI Incorporations. There were some criticisms and objections raised against Altman, the leader of OpenAI, by certain members of the staff, the board, and the public. These criticisms stemmed from various issues that created discontent and mistrust within the OpenAI community. One of the main issues that caused concern was the lack of transparency and accountability in the governance and operations of OpenAI. This issue surfaced particularly after the for-profit entity, which raised questions about alignment of incentives and interest among the stakeholders. The mismanagement and mistreatment of some of the staff, particularly the safety and policy researchers, was another cause for discontent. These researchers felt that their concerns and recommendations were not given enough attention and that they were not provided with adequate resources and support to perform their duties. Lastly, there were allegations of conflict of interest and dishonesty in some of Altman's communications and dealings. For example, his involvement in the creation of Voltcoin, a cryptocurrency project that aimed to scan people's irises in exchanges for tokens, raised questions about his motives and intentions. Furthermore, his attempt to conceal his relationship with the project from the board and its staff added to the sense of distrust within the OpenAI community. The final straw that broke the camel's back and led to the firing of Altman was the revelation of a secret and potentially dangerous AI project that he was overseeing, condemned Q-Star. Q-Star was an AI model that was reportedly able to solve math problems that it had not seen before a feat that would be considered a significant breakthrough in the field of AI. However, QSTAR also triggered alarm and fear among some of the OpenAI researchers who wrote a letter to the board of directors that QSTAR could pose a threat to humanity and that Altman was not being honest and responsible about the project. The details of uh, QSTAR are currently uncertain and unverified as OpenAI has not yet published any information or research about it. 
However, based on the reports and speculations that have emerged, QSTAR could be a system that uses reinforcement learning to solve math problems similar to how humans do. Alternatively, it may leverage symbolic reasoning to solve math problems that require logic and generalization beyond the capabilities of existing AI models. It could also use natural language processing, computer vision, and knowledge graphs to solve math problems that involve text images and facts. Finally, it could exhibit some form of artificial general intelligence or artificial narrow intelligence. There are several reasons why QSTAR could be considered a threat to humanity. Firstly, it could be used for malicious purposes such as hacking, fraud, sabotage or warfare due to its ability to solve complex problems and generate or manipulate information and data. Secondly, it could be challenging or impossible to control, monitor or audit due to its complexity, capacity or autonomy. And it could behave unpredictably or undesirably, violating ethical norms, human values or social contracts. The board of directors of OpenAI, which included some of the co-founders and donors of the organization, such as Elon Musk, Peter Thiel, Reid Hoffman and Jessica Livingstone, decided to fire Altman on November 17, 2023, citing his lack of openness and accountability and his misalignment with the vision and mission of OpenAI. The board also appointed Greg Brockman, the co-founder and chief technology officer of OpenAI, as the interim CEO and announced that it would search for a permanent replacement. However, the staff organized a mass protest and threatened to resign en masse if Altman was not reinstated as the CEO. The staff also received backing from Microsoft, which had invested $1 billion in OpenAI and had a close partnership with the organization. Microsoft argued that Altman was essential for the success and stability of OpenAI and that his removal would jeopardize the collaboration and innovation between the two entities. The board of directors of OpenAI, faced with pressure and ultimatums from the staff in Microsoft, decided to reverse its decision and reinstate Altman as the CEO on November 21, 2023. The board also apologized for its hasty and unilateral action and promised to work with Altman and the staff to resolve the issues and conflicts that had arisen and to restore trust and harmony within the OpenAI community. The story of Sam Altman and OpenAI highlights some of the difficulties and ethical dilemmas facing the field of artificial intelligence. Balancing speed and safety, competition and collaboration, profit and purpose, and ensuring transparency, accountability, and inclusivity in governance and operations are crucial. Communication with the public and media about the benefits and risks of AI is essential. Lessons learned include having clear vision and mission, robust and transparent governance and oversight, diverse and inclusive teams, and balancing trade-offs and tensions to maximize positive outcomes. The story of Sam Altman and OpenAI is controversial and ongoing. Some questions remain unanswered, including the future of QSTAR, how conflicts will be addressed, how staff and community will contribute, how partners will collaborate, and how the public will perceive OpenAI's projects and products. The answers to these questions will determine the fate and future of OpenAI and AI. They will have lasting implications for society and humanity. We hope that the story of Sam Altman and OpenAI will serve as a chance to learn and improve the organization and the field. It should motivate them to strive for excellence and ethics, innovation and safety, and openness and responsibility in creating artificial intelligence that can benefit humanity. And that's it for this video. We hope you enjoyed watching it and learned something new. Viewed it, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our future videos. We have more amazing videos coming, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching and see you next time.